What up, peeps? Um, all about makeup. And look at who's in the background. Do I look like I'm in this makeup artist's house or something? There's Pelon in the back. Do you guys know who Pelon is? He's right there. And as you know, since I'm here, yes, 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 Piaches. So I just wanted to make a quick little video and say what up. Shop alone. Shop alone. He's still back there. Oh, look at it. I got a crazy video with Pelon now. I got a crazy video with Pelon. Well, I just want to let everybody know I had a blast over here. Um, Alondra's like the hostess with the mostest and her hubby. They're freaking super nice. And Pelon is the bomb. So, just wanted to come and do a little video, show you guys I was all here, and make y'all bitches jealous, because I know you guys wish you could be here. So, please. Hey, what's up? It's All About Makeup, 1979. And it's a Friday. It's been a long day. I worked. Um, I went around some errands. I have a lot going on this weekend, but I wanted to come and do a quick little video about my NorCal trip. Um, my trip when I went up north. Um, yeah, way up there. Um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter or you guys follow me on Facebook, but if you did, you were able to see my adventures while I was up there and who I was able to hang out with and visit with. Um, let me just start out with that. This video is actually really a huge, huge, huge thank you and out to my bitch, my straight up don't give a fuck amiga. Like, I totally wish that we lived closer because she would so be one of my closest friends. Like, she is my closest friend, but like, we would be hanging out like constantly. Like, it would be ridiculous. So, we'd be getting into some major fucking trouble. But, um, I'm talking about Alondra, like I mentioned, and as a lot of you YouTubers out there know her as Miss Makeup Artist. Yes, um, if you guys don't know about her, I'll be putting the link down below. If you don't, I don't know where y'all have been, but anywho, um, again, I had went up on the 11th, 11, 11, 11, yes, me and my mom went up and, um, we were going to get some of the final items from my grandfather's house up in Pittsburgh, California, which is a little bit out of San Francisco, um, like about 45 minutes before Frisco, so that's about how far we went up there, so you guys all know it was about a six hour drive, five hours the way I drive, um, me and my mom rented a truck, we had picked up a table that was my grandpa's and an old antique little desk that I wanted that was my grandmother Hopi's table, so I was really excited to go do that, um, me and my mom got up there super, super early because I wanted to have as much time to spend with my bitch, Alondra, and her little family, um, a big thank you too to her husband Nacho, and also to her little man Pelon, oh my god, Pelon! If you're watching this, what up, little dude? I can't wait to come back and visit you. I'm going to send you some goodies and shit. But um, love that little boy. Love her. She opened up her house to me and my mom, hooked us up with a dope room to stay in. That saved us on um, our trip money and stuff because we did have to put gas in this truck when we went up there. So it just really helped us out. And she's just a very, like, I don't even know how to put it, dude. She's, like, down as fuck. But she has, like, the biggest heart. And for her to open up her home to me and my mom, love you lots for that girl. Not too many people will do that. And I wouldn't be staying at too many people's houses either. So, um, and she cooks freaking amazing. Oh, my God. Like, I love your free holies. Your beans touched my heart. And she made me homemade corn tortillas. She made me and my mom, um, what is it? Caldo de pollo or pollo de caldo. I don't speak Spanish, but either way, that sounds about right. Um, and she just t showed us around. We went to the mall in Tracy. We went to um, some Bamas de la Taqueria where I had like literally a burrito this big. I will be showing a picture of that. It was like this huge, I didn't eat like the whole day except for when we went home late at night. She took us to this like amazing store that's out there for like hunters and stuff. But like, dude, we were there like two hours just tripping out on shit. Um, I will be showing lots of pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about if you don't follow me on my Facebook and stuff. Um, I also, like I said, we went to the mall. I did a little bit of retail shopping because as you know, I have to hit up either a Ross wherever I go if there's one in the area or something just to get something so we ended up going to the mall that was in her area which is literally like in her backyard and I picked up some rings this was one of my favorites as soon as I saw this I was like oh my god I have to get this shit because me and my best friend Normita she's a corrections officer and me and her um I have a tattoo video that I have to post up I just haven't edited it yet that tells a lot about my tattoos but as you guys can see I have a um sorry if you guys can't really see it all I have a hooter right here which is an owl and me and my best friend we got matching hooters um because that's like my like this we are like this so when I saw this was 
a bunch of little hooters. I was like, oh my god, I gotta get that. And then plus I was like, damn, if you like fuck a bitch up with this shit, you gonna do some damage and shit. I'm always looking for a secret weapon. Yeah, it'll do. But yeah, so it's super cute and it goes over the two fingers. I am gonna have to paint this with some clear nail polish so I'm keeping it real because this shit is fake as fuck. And it turned my little my little my little fingers that um Sarah Miss Sarah Lipsticks enjoyed. <laughs> um, actually, I'm sorry, I didn't enjoy, but she liked my little fingers. <laughs> so, <laughs> inside joke. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just whatever. And then I also got this really cute um ring, and it is a fox. And I trying to get more into accessories. Um, since I guess you guys can tell that I have been losing weight, I am down 63 pounds total. Woohoo! I even lost two pounds being at her house eating the way I was eating. So I'm doing pretty damn good. But, um, again, I've been wanting to get more into accessories and stuff. And yes, I just did my nails. I'll be doing a Conad, um, nail polishing later and stamping because my party's this weekend. Um, sorry, I'm kind of getting off on the subject, but yeah. So I got this really cute little fox and it wraps around. And again, you can see this one's gold. I don't wear a lot of gold, but I do have a couple of items that I've purchased that this will look really cute with. Um, I also picked up a watch. I don't really wear watches too often, but my mom got a watch, and um, it was buy one, get one, like, half off. So I ended up getting this for, I believe, $5. So, um, oh, and just so you know, I got this stuff at Styles for less. I actually even got a little discount card because now that I'm a little bit thinner, I can shop at these places and get stuff that fits me now. So it all works out, and I can save some money. So, again, this is a really cute, just simple watch, and it pops out right here. So eventually if you got like different colors of these you could probably go ahead and like switch them out and stuff so I picked up that and like I said I don't know if any of you guys have like seen it in my past videos of hauling or have heard me talk about my favorite place on earth no it's not Disneyland it is Ross the best place on earth I had to go stop in there because we stopped in to look for something so um I did oh wait sorry I forgot I got one more thing at Styles for Less I ended up getting this really cute, um, like, cardigan-y sweater, as you can see, because it is cold as F-bombs up there. I was, like, in Uggs, thermals, jeans, and down here, I'm used to showing off all my tattoos. No, nah, not up there. It was super, super cold. So, again, I got this really cute, um, oh, and excuse my mess going on back there if you see stuff. I'm going to be moving um, in about two weeks, so I'm starting to go through stuff, so don't mind that. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cute. I liked it because it has, like, this really cool, like, beading on it that, like, kind of makes it a little bit, I don't know, it has this, this really cool, like, rainbowy, like, reflex on it. So, I thought that was super, super cute. Sorry. And then, at Ross, I got something for my sis AJ for Christmas. That's on the hush, though. So, um, then... I have been trying to find pants because of losing all my weight. I'm down to a size 11, and all my old pants were size 13 and up, and I can't fit in those anymore. I'm actually donating them. So I have been looking for new jeans, and um, I am a size 11, and these are just some really cute um, just denim. Like, these are the pockets in the back. But um, there's nothing fancy about the bottom, you know, the, like, stitching and stuff. So I just wanted to share these with you guys. They are by Faragia, and I only paid $12.99 for these, so that's a really, really good deal. So I have another new pair of pants. Um, oh, and I wanted to say that I know you guys are all going to be really, really, really jealous because my um, freaking amiga, Alondra, she is so crafty and freaking talented and amazing. And I loved her phone case that she did. She's been doing some crazy cool stuff with um, clay. And yes, y'all, I got a Miss Makeup Artist blinged out case. And hey, bitch, only two things have come off that were glue gunned on. So don't trip. But I've been kind of being rough with it. But other than that, it's holding in there, dude. So don't trip. As you guys can see, she, like, literally the last day I was there, stayed up late and hooked this up when I had went to sleep. She did all these little roses herself. And I don't know if y'all know about me and, um, 420 and, um, whatever out there. But, you yeah, buddy, that ain't a regular flower. I'll tell you that right now. That was specially made for me. Um, kind of 420-ish. 
a little bit if you guys look at it that way you guys can see it a little better but yes and then she did this awesome little like hello kitty skull dia little muertos look and then she put these really cool little like um this pink flower and all these cool little buttons and just like knickknacks and patty wax and give this biatch a bone no i'm just playing but I love it. I absolutely love it. This was on my case that I went up there with and she worked her magic and I have been getting nothing but compliments on this. So this is an original Miss Makeup Artist blinged out case that I am only the one lucky to have and her and I'm sure Sarah is going to be getting one too. Oh and by the way, like I said, I did get to see Sarah Lipsticks. Awesome, don't give a fuck attitude. Those two girls are off the chart. I love, love, love both of them. And um, as Alondra and Herbo said, I'm the loud and I am the um, AKA crush because I'm like, dude, and I'm like, whoa, like totally like whitewashed and shit. So they were saying I remind them of Crush from Little, um, I'm sorry, from Finding Nemo. I'm saying like Little Nemo and shit, but from Finding Nemo. So that's a total compliment for me. I don't mind being the cute little turtle that was like totally callied out, duded out. So um, again, I wanted to also show you guys some stuff that my mom got me before we went up for the trip at the farmer's market. Again, at Buena Park Mall. Um, this is my awesome, cute ass little wallet. It's um, by Fluff. There is a girl that does vending there and it's just really cute. I liked it. I just wanted to show you guys. Yes, I got some cash in there. Um, but I wanted to show you that because I actually have the um, little makeup bag as well. Sorry, let me put something in my closet. But my mom also got me the little makeup bag. Let me zip it up so that way you guys can see how it looks a little bit. So there it is. It has a little handle and stuff. It came with a small mirror and it matches my wallet. And I fit everything that I needed for the weekend up there. It has these little pouches up here and you could fit a whole lot of stuff. I still have some things from my trip in here that I haven't unpacked yet. But I just wanted to share that with you. And um, again, I just wanted to say much, much love to um, Alondra, Nacho, and Belon. And I can't wait to see you guys again. And hopefully next time you guys will be coming down south to come and stay at my casa and visit with me. And we can hang out and I can show you around. And again, I will be up again to see you guys all super soon. I just wanted to share it with everybody out there. Alondra is amazing. So any of you shit talkers out there that have something to say, you guys have no idea how great she really is because all you know is what you think you know. And that's like nothing. She's amazing. So that's enough said. Um, just wanted to come and share with you guys about my NorCal trip. So I'll talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye. Alone. <laughs> he has got the mo oh see what you do <laughs> he bumped his head on the freaking plastic thing this little boy right here i'm telling you he is the coolest little dude and he has the most flipping energy ever like ever i'm gonna like have to take some home with me